is basically just it's a gas driven by a 262 Honda and this here is our setup with uh, another additional auxiliary tank over there like I say this compressor is missing a filter housing which looks something like this and this compressor has been sucking in nothing but dirt and grime and it sounds awfully annoying um, this basically slides over this just like that and that is your filter housing so the piece that was on there is broken and this piece rusted out this is the uh, fitting that goes in the head as you can see it's all aluminum turned aluminum actually and the problem that I'm experiencing is that is a steel head and since that is a steel head that fitting or this guy right here is seized inside of that head so we are going to try to get it out today and I figured I'd film it just so that you guys can see what we're doing this is a rather cute air filter but this is also the cover that goes on it but like I say this baffle here is what's gonna keep this compressor quiet runs great everything runs great can't beat free 99 but that uh, that filter is highly annoying and it accumulates water and trash in the compression system or the air tank rather quite frequently it has to be drained once about every hour or so so it's quite annoying so we need to These are the Snap-on LNF or LN47 ACF, and they are available in the truck. These are the ones that can pick up a dime that's laying on the ground. Let's see if it'll pull off this. Well, it's biting, but that thing is just very stuck. At this point, the fitting in the compressor head just decided to break off and I had to slowly chip away at the threads inside of the head using a die grinder with a carbide burr and a screwdriver. Alrighty guys, so the end broke off of the compressor here, so I have a die grinder with a steel burr on it and we're going to try and work the threads off so that the uh, aluminum can be chipped out of there. because. Campbell Hossfield and their infinite wisdom decided to use aluminum, so we're going to do that. Okay guys, so we got the new filter housing on. That old one did not want to come off. So now let's just try to start it and see how she sounds, right?
good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Keep an eye out for more 6.5 posts, and we'll see you in the next video.